But do you want to talk about um, Valiant and the whole thing there? Um, oh, with negativity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and hopefully um, Random Brother can weigh in on this as well. Because I believe it was a post. Um, I don't know if it was Valiant Sorry. posted or but Valiant did comment. This is a blast. Yeah, this is a blast. And it, it gone all over. I think Arumi should repost it as well. Um, it was a screenshot of a music video for Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. Somebody named Kane 2X says, I uh, commented, he released this like a month ago and it only got 418k views. But when you dropped Glock 42 weeks ago, it already has 2.2 million views. SMH, then then y'all complain about dance all gone down. But oh no, same one, I bring it down because y'all don't want to hear motivational, positive music. I know uh, I got 40 for my belly, my clot it when we ready. She had dark shit when she ready. Valiant responded, I respect this so much. Um, then you have the likes of Aramish weighing in and reposting the same conversation with the caption. My IG for much of you and this why when artists do positive song, the world don't love it. Like the songs that sing about less positive than media and so much people fuss. <laughs> Say so artists do this and that, but yet the same big people them not spread positive song in media. Then you people, same one now watch and share. What are your views? Well, is 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 it very interesting to me because one of the things that that w- was in my mind when you were talking about why is Afrobeat taking over, quote unquote, from dancehall in terms of like the, just the cultural taking our cultural space and I don't eat. I don't talk about how you know, spaces that were created for dancehall and reggae are now being, you know, proliferated by, yeah. by, by Afrobeat. Yeah. And I personally believe that a big part of the reason is that at a certain time, I don't know how, exactly what period, dancehall started getting a lot darker, mm-hmm. lyrically. And it became a lot about what you just said a while ago, this glock on your belly and bust out man, head back and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's always been a part of dancehall. Mm-hmm. But it became the hits, quote unquote, that we talked about earlier as well. Yeah. The songs that were coming out that were being spoken about, were being, you know, um, sensationalized were those kind of songs. And I think a lot of people that originally gravitated to dancehall and Caribbean music as a whole was because they wanted to party. Yeah. It's like 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 Adam said, it's 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 it's, it's summer music, it's yeah. beach music, it's party music, right? Mm-hmm. We were known, we've always been known as the gatekeepers of cool. Mm-hmm. In any community, yeah. if you wanted to know what yeah. was cool, what's a cool shirt to wear, what's the cool music to listen to, you went down the block and you found a Jamaican guy and he mm-hmm. would tell you. Right? But he wasn't talking about killing people and chopping up man and blah 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 mm. and so when dancehall started to go down that road with such a huge volume of dancehall being about that kind of topics yeah. and scamming I think had a part to do with it mm-hmm. right that whole negativity as well and that energy that came from that then people start going well where's another danceable music that doesn't talk about stuff like this and they, and they, and they turn to, to, to Afrobeat mm-hmm. so that comes back to something like this. So, so now you have a genre that's 90%, okay, let's say 80%. Let's even for argument's sake, say 70%. Violent, dark, aggressive music. Yeah. And you have an artist who's known for lyrical content like that, right? And then he drops a song that is completely off. Not about that. This really mm-hmm. positive song, whatever, whatever, inspiring. Yeah. The algorithm doesn't even recognize yeah. the song. Mm-hmm. The algorithm goes, what is this? Mm-hmm. This must be some kind of analogy. Let's not push this to all of, even yeah. Valiant's fans. Oh. Because you feel it really has to do with absolutely. the algorithm. It, it, it has to do with the algorithm. I think it's absolutely. simpler than that. No, I'm oh. saying that that's part of it. The other part okay. of it is what I said before. Mm-hmm. But also it's that if this is what is rewarded within this genre, mm-hmm. that's why that song is not rewarded because it's not something that's a viable huge part. When you can dance, is there like a okay? Well, now we're gonna play the inspirational segment, mm. and we're gonna play twenty songs well, that are inspiring. But, yeah, but, but that's when nobody's there. Yeah, but there are the songs. Part of the dance. But there are songs like that that get followed in. You know, there are songs that will break dance. through. Yeah. There are songs that will break through, and usually those songs are not by artists who do mostly dark music. No, because mm. like so, Yaksta was saying Yaksta. Correct. I was gonna say Nation Boss, boss right? Yeah. And that's somebody I was gonna d- draw for. Yeah. When Humans came out, it was like, wow, this is so different. Wow. Yeah. Cool. But he also doesn't have 10 gun song that he no. released last month. No. No. I, so I think that has a lot to do with it. Mm. I, I, I agree. I think I think there's I agree with all that. I think, you know, one thing that's interesting too is just so in general on social media, as we know, controversial things spread way faster than non-controversial things. Mm. It's gonna get more engagement, it's gonna get pushed harder. People be like, what's this? You engage with it. Yeah, I think there's a couple of things. One is people don't realize that like 
YouTube ads, mm. <laughs> okay? So sometimes you run YouTube ads and they work well. Sometimes they don't run out the gate. Sometimes there's different things. And when you run a YouTube ad, every single person that views that ad, it counts as a view. Mm. So a way that people are jacking up their view count is they're running YouTube ads in specific territories. Okay. Someone views that ad for five seconds, mm -hmm. counts as a view. And sometimes they don't work out the gate. So there's all these factors where like literally you could have a video that does like 500,000 views in a day and another one that does 10,000 views in a day. And like the only difference is that that YouTube ad started running on time mm. and it was able to literally push out 500,000 views. And so a lot of artists are running YouTube ads specifically in Jamaica and you're targeting a certain audience and you're able to rack up those views at not super expensive of a cost. So on one element, just looking at straight up YouTube numbers of like, yo, this song did this much in the first week versus this one is oftentimes missing what actually, if those are active views or if they're more passive views. Um, and then the other element of it is like, yeah, I mean, some people just want to hear certain things from some artists and yeah. some there's something that works for some people and things that don't work for other people. And mm -hmm. then when they do go that other direction, you know, to Steve's point, it doesn't know who to service it to. And I think mainly to most times, sometimes when artists do positive songs, it's almost as if they do it as a, like to say, oh, I did a, a positive checklist. song. Yeah. Like there was no, you know, feel emotions, like the same emotions that when they put in a the gun song, it don't reflect the same. Like the same the, energy. The energy, the quality doesn't yes. reflect the same in like their quote unquote positive song. So it's almost like they, see, they do it to say, see, when they don't like positivity when it's like, well, and I'm not saying that for other artists. Sure. No, yeah. Not for every artists. What but kind of for most. Well, that, that, that's the point. That's the point. I wanted to get into that specific to a valiant. Mm -hmm. Like right. when you listen Hall of Fame versus the other popular songs, them the production better. Yeah, it sounds better sonically. Yeah, them song the verses more time this on other records. Song. Yeah, I, that's what I, I think, think some of the time. Like. And even if you, you put up a magnifying maybe, glass, maybe, maybe because he also knows that that song is probably going to get less of a reaction. At hence more work is put into it yeah yeah this hall of fame song we just put up a mag magnifying glass to this even the, the video itself it's six minutes long six minutes 42 seconds the song don't start in the video until two minutes in that's, that's why like, this is not going to be like that's not gonna get that <laughs> like, it, it, like, i'm not gonna be the video yeah. i wish we knew that this song <laughs> right yeah, yeah, that's yeah. A part of it as well, well that's a, the, probably the biggest part probably the biggest part like, and even yeah. with that as well like there's interpolations like it pause yeah, and yeah. you hear people speaking like mm. this is not gonna be the first avenue i got to, to listen to this song no. so like, i feel like this yeah. argument right here is sort of disingenuous yeah it's like if, if this youtube show is posted later and you have like a whole like 30 minute part beforehand where we're all just sitting here looking straight ahead you know like people are gonna click usually go, them usually go bump your channel <laughs> <laughs> well yeah you're right it, it it ruins the viewing experience yeah. and not everybody wants to listen to that and probably go straight to just the the um the tease or the official audio versus the video but i mean as you said it. they use it to say see they don't like positive song like no we like the song it's just we don't like the video yeah <laughs> that sometimes uh, we, 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 we like the song i wish you'd play the song earlier in the video you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. <laughs> taking a break out of this podcast to big up our sponsors Itopia Life Herbals or Cannabis and Culture combined for one of a kind experience you can visit them at 10 Aways Kings House Road just across on the Canadian Embassy also you can follow them on Instagram at Itopia Life or visit their webpage at itopialife.com for the latest info and strains and merch right now I want to take the time to big, out our new, big up our new sponsor Self Care Friday yes the skin is the largest organ of the body and whatever is applied is absorbed by the body, thus into the bloodstream. Did you know this, sir? Mm -hmm. Okay. Therefore, it is important that we're mindful of what we use on our body. And this is where Self Care Friday comes in. They take away the hassle of you having to worry about what goes on on your skin as their products are safe and sustainable. They're handmade with natural source ingredients from the earth. Mm. Is it me? Their nourishing products range from organic, natural, and vegan as they are cruelty free. Love your skin. And your skin will love you back. True. Give your skin sanctum and choose Self Care Friday. And let's make every day Friday. Yay. Or you can use the code the FIX15 and get 15% off all purchases. That's the FIX15 and get 15% off all purchases. Follow them on Instagram and TikTok at Self Care Friday and visit their website at www.selfcarefriday.com. Aloha, everyone. 
like there's certain things that we like to hear from certain people. Yes, yeah. I do admit that yeah. it seems like our They're culture right. have an affinity for bad man song, like bad True. manisms. You know what right I mean? Now, but especially to say that people gravitate to negativity, if that was the case, everybody that do a chopper song would have boss. But Everybody majority of them No. No, no, no <laughs> not really. It, it has to be of a certain quality. True. Okay. For the most well, part. But, but, but I, has I, to I, be. I think music generally has to be of a certain quality for, for people to yeah. consume it on a large, on a large volume, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so that sort of negates your point. I, I feel like negativity is something that right now we are gravitating to. It's mm -hmm. it's something that's a lot in our society. It's something that we see in the news and on social media every day. People are getting murdered. People are getting killed. Yeah. There's scamming going on. Mm -hmm. The FBI is here right now investigating Ugh. a bank, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. These things are things that are real in our lives. So therefore, it reflects in the music. Mm -hmm. I'm not blaming the music because mm -hmm. that's ridiculous to me. Yeah, yeah. Right? You, that's like looking in the mirror and saying, I don't like what I see in the mirror. Right? If society is this, then music going to be that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's part of our problem too. But the, but the whole the point is, is that the negativity is something that, that we like because we identify well, with it. A lot of it. Yeah. But, but it, it still has to be good. It has to, to be, be good. good. And sure. that's the thing, like if we never And it means that the inspiration music has to be better. True. And if it wasn't if there wasn't any inspirational music, a good inspirational music, then people like Chronics wouldn't have a career. People like Coffee wouldn't have a, people like Leela Ike would like I think one of the strong points of our music that there's a whole lot of variety. Yeah. 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 But there has to be a balance. Cause the, the, and I, I remember I was asking you about consistency because in our our culture is like we people switch it up. People mm -hmm. do different things. So yeah. wait, but but you're saying like once the artist is consistent, they do this they, they found they find the sound, they find the message and it's consistent throughout their career. That's what works for them. It builds it the, the core audience, as you say. Yeah, and I think everyone's influenced by different things and no one's gonna make the same exact song every time yeah. and everything yeah. like that. But I think it's about locking into a mood i mean i think chronix is a good example where mm. some of his biggest songs are actually dance hall records and mm -hmm. some of them are are more roots regular, dance like, all know. tinged mm -hmm. yeah sure but but you know you have like like um smile jamaica and skank and sweet and then you have yeah. likes and then you have mm. like there's there's different things that it's popping into but it's all fitting into the same mood yeah. yes. vibe yeah. feeling so it doesn't have to be that the production style is exactly the same subgenre mm. but there's something about you know what you're going to expect from it yeah. that makes that made that album specifically grow in the way that it did and also mm. i think it's like you know there are like for instance what 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 category of song would you describe like from rags to riches as um uh, wait the specific song like from TJ? Yeah. Oh. Um I don't know. Yeah, that's all. No, but like but like um in terms of mood or, or Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's not a gunman tune. It's no, not no, it's like, that, well, that's like why like it was what, more what, oh, really oh, thought, how like, would you reality type. It? Reality yeah. type, like conscious. but it's also yeah, yeah. it's conscious, it's kind of inspirational. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like that was one of the biggest records mm -hmm. in this scene in a long time. And it did have this conscious uplifting sound to it. Mm. Like, like that's the one that comes to my mind when we're talking about, okay, all this negativity that's existing in the, mm. in the, in the, in the core space and this and that in terms of that. But like that to me is an example of a record that like, I hear that song. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a negative no. song. Mm. No, that's a, that's an interesting example to, to, to draw for. Um, but I, well, I think the difference to me between TJ and Valiant at this point in Valiant's career is that Valiant is very much right now on his crest yeah right yeah, whereas yeah. tj tj is kind of like established like people mm. tj almost can do no wrong if you understand what i'm saying like his fan base is kind of like all right with him yeah yeah we're with you we're with you yeah. because to refer to what you said earlier he has fed them a steady diet of quality music yeah. right. for a long time that body's like well if you released it and you put it out we won't believe you mm. right we trust you yeah i don't want to violence there yet right Hmm. He's yeah. still building there. He's still building. That's yeah, he's true. Still building. And, 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 and to be fair, I mean, how long has it been since Boss? Like no, ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, give, give him a year, break. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, for real, yeah. for real. For real. Yeah. I but love also, what he's doing, by the way. I just shout out to Valiant. Yeah, yeah, yeah shout out Valiant for sure. Yeah, just people just have to understand how certain songs function. For sure. <laughs> but also, but also, this, this, this is like we're talking very specifically. I think about specifically the type of dance hall and that's working here yeah like that's yeah. what we're talking that's a, that's about a, yeah. you brought up Leela and this and that and to me those are different 
it's a different thing because that's yeah. working and all is a different kind of work. And it, well, it still about, works like, here. Though. It still works here. Yeah, but, but you I, know but, what? But, actually, j- sorry to, to get yeah. to cut you, but I actually wanted to talk about that a little bit because hey. is it working here in a way that that other that those other artists are working here? I I don't know. Like, no, I, not I, on no. the same level. No. So, so then, so then that's when you say level, what you mean? Because like, I feel like they're still like if you put them on a show, they're still able to pull the same level of crowd. As are they? Someone, uh, you no. feel so? I just think that in regard to like Lila, running the place, Lila they're not seeing the, the same, same light. amount. Lila Naga pull know. the same amount like Valiant is now. No way. No. Lila isn't going to pull the same number of people. I'd say like, but, she, but if Valiant, but, if the Valiant but, crowd comes, she can't still rock probably Valiant. Valiant had the wrong crowd. exam. Because Valiant hot, 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 like, right. hot, super okay. hot. Yeah. So like, but like yeah. any other dancer artist. Okay, like, yeah, I'll give you that. i give you that. i give you that. You know, okay. I feel like she can do similar things. Hmm. And she does way different no, music. Yeah, but it, I'm not because you're saying like the quality, how she rock it, how she rock yeah. the show, and whatever. She's a like, dope artist. Lila is, a, is an amazing. Dope. Well, that is a like, like, and what, what he's saying is that in terms of her songs and the reaction to her songs, people yeah. know her music, people know who she is, people recognize her, etc., etc., etc. You know, she she's she's as much a a personality on the scene. Then. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay. I think it's like, there's also the, you know, to Steve's point about the negative, or sorry, to the random guy <laughs> off uh, yeah, right over right. there. Um, I'm going to like drop my mic again or something. So <laughs> I'm like, you know, like it, this idea about like the, you know, more negative music and just being a re- reality and response to what people are going through and this kind of stuff and how those kind of songs are, a lot of those artists are the artists who are, their YouTube numbers are amazing, but their Spotify numbers are not. Yeah. Mm, and some of these true. other numbers like are artists like the Leela's and the Chronix's and, and all these other examples that we're talking about, their worldwide numbers are, 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 are greater, right? Like, you know, like, so there's something to that in terms of, you know, this conversation of, well, only negativity or this or that is working right now. And well, what does working mean? Like, are we talking about what is working on YouTube in one specific in space? Hot, are we talking yeah. about, and like, I just I'd love media. to see the numbers. I don't have them here. I'd love to see the numbers on Spotify for this song specifically, all of you. Mm. Are you on, different. do you have Spotify? Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I, I can look it up, okay. <laughs> no, but you know what? That's it's really interesting because I, it's, it's something that, I, that again, that's another one of my soapboxes is that we don't take we don't take Spotify seriously here. People, not enough people are on Spotify. Mm-hmm. I feel like we need to we as a culture need okay. to get on Spotify. Yeah, we can't see more music we need to, through we need, YouTube. Yeah, mm-hmm. but but we, and we we just spoke about YouTube mm-hmm. pays less. Yeah. So if you know, that's like saying I know there's two stores I can sell my product in, and both of them are open, and I can go into both and say, hey, could you sell my product? But I'm only going into one, and the one I'm going into is the one that sells a product for less money. That doesn't make financial sense. That's not business smart. Mm. We need to. Everybody True. needs to walk up in Spotify and be like, "Yo, we're there." Never expected love. Got your good, me jealous over everything. Me don't need that from your booty it from me skin to skin. Heart race, you a boot up me adrenaline. Treat you like a queen, me are your psycho king. Me take a banana boat if you go for it. Can't yeah, yeah, make your life for me not try a thing. Now your bank account, they are minus. Plus, when them play money, play the chorus. Dark talent, no work. They don't care. You want bus, you have to pay your bus fare. Got them want money, DJ want money. Radio show and podcast want money. 